Dear fellow Stoics, do you think you can achieve inner peace in today's noisy world? Can you picture yourself navigating life's challenges with the calmness of a serene lake, even when things get turbulent? It might sound too good to be true, but it's not. In this video, we'll explore seven practical exercises from Stoicism that can help you attain the elusive inner peace you seek. These exercises are not just theoretical ideas, you can incorporate them into your daily life. If you're looking for a sense of tranquility amid life's chaos, stick around. And if you're new to this Stoic wisdom and want more, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Make this commitment to yourself as a step toward gaining wisdom, insight and peace. So, fellow Stoics, are you ready to get started? Start writing in a journal regularly. Writing has a magical quality that can turn your raw emotions and thoughts into something valuable. Have you ever felt overwhelmed by a mix of emotions and thoughts that were hard to understand? When you write them down, it's like opening a window in a stuffy room, bringing in fresh air and clarity. Journaling isn't just about recording what happened during the day, it's a way to have a quiet conversation with yourself, to explore your thoughts and feelings. In today's world, where our minds are bombarded with endless information and our emotions come and go quickly, taking a moment to journal can be a powerful way to stay grounded. It's like looking into a mirror for your inner self, helping you make sense of your feelings and reinforce your beliefs. It doesn't matter if you're using a computer or pen and paper, the act of putting your thoughts on a page can bring a sense of peace. So as the day ends, try to find a few quiet moments to embrace this ancient stoic practice. Writing with a pen or typing on a keyboard might become a soothing way to find inner calm. Spend some time thinking deeply about life and your own thoughts. Picture a special place in your mind where you can go to reflect on the big questions in life and the smaller everyday things that make you curious. For example, why did a comment from a co-worker bother you? Or why does a sunset make you feel happy? This type of thinking isn't about sitting cross-legged and focusing on your breathing like in traditional meditation. It's more like exploring the vast world of your thoughts and emotions, which make up the human experience. A wise person once said that meditating is like taking a stroll through the garden of your mind. So every day as you go about your life, take a moment to wander through this mental garden. Pay attention to the thoughts that come to mind, the emotions that arise, and the beliefs that are deeply rooted within you. Philosophical meditation doesn't require you to have all the answers. It values the questions, the sense of wonder, and the endless possibilities of human thought. Your thoughts. In today's busy world, with all its distractions, give yourself the gift of these moments of self-reflection. It's a journey into understanding yourself better, much like the Stoic philosophy teaches. This practice can enrich your inner self and bring a sense of peace to your spirit. Remember, even amid life's noise, your inner thoughts and feelings have their own gentle melody. All you need to do is pay attention and listen. Try looking at things from a high point of view, like when you're on top of a hill or a tall balcony. Everything appears small from up there. People look tiny, cars seem like toys, and big buildings look like little Lego structures. This view from above can make our big problems seem very small, reminding us of how small we are in the vast universe. When we get caught up in life's worries, sometimes all we need is to see things from this high perspective. As Seneca once said, we are like waves in the huge ocean of existence. Think about it. Waves rise, crash, and then join the ocean again, just for new waves to appear. Our challenges, anxieties, and even joys are a lot like these waves. They're temporary and don't last long. By looking at things from above, we realize that our problems are also temporary. Sure, your favorite app might have crashed, someone might not have replied to your text, or your dream job might seem far away. But when you zoom out and look at the big picture, you'll see that these worries are small compared to the beauty of the world. So when you're feeling overwhelmed, take a moment to close your eyes, take a deep breath, and imagine the world from a high place. It's not about ignoring your feelings or problems, but about finding comfort in knowing that they're just a small part of the bigger picture. Every day is like a fresh canvas, waiting for you to paint your day with your actions and choices. In the morning, you have a chance to decide what kind of person you want to be that day, not just in terms of being creative, but also in how you react to things and make decisions. Your life isn't something that just happens to you. It's more like a canvas, 
where your thoughts and actions leave their mark. Imagine if, at the end of each day, you took a moment to think about how you did during the day. What did you do well? What could you have done better? What mistakes did you make? This is like a famous philosopher once said, our life is shaped by our thoughts. So take some time each day to reflect on your actions and thoughts. In today's world, we're always connected to our phones and social media, but the most important update you can give yourself is a daily self-check. The Stoics, a group of ancient philosophers, believed in checking in with themselves regularly. This isn't about being too hard on yourself or seeking constant praise. It's more about sincerely evaluating how you're doing. What did you learn from your day? And how can you do better tomorrow? It's like choosing the right brush to paint your day. As you go through your day, whether it's in a busy city or online meetings, remember this stoic exercise. When you end your day with lessons learned and thoughts about how to improve, you'll find that inner peace is no longer a distant dream, but a close friend. I want to take a moment to thank you for being part of our stoic community and exploring the idea of inner peace with us. I have a little challenge for you, as is our tradition. Stick with me till the end, and I promise it'll be worth it. First, let's talk about a simple technique, pausing and reflecting. Life can often feel like a fast-moving train where things happen in the blink of an eye. Messages come in and we quickly respond. Emails pop up and we rush to answer them. We're always reacting and hardly ever take a moment to think, breathe or consider what's happening. Now imagine if, in the middle of all this rush, you could find a way to hit a pause button. Not to stop everything, but to take a breath and think before you act. Viktor Frankl, in his book Man's Search for Meaning, said there's a space between when something happens and when we react to it. In that space, we have freedom. It might be a brief moment, but it's incredibly powerful. By learning to pause and think before reacting, we open the door to making more thoughtful decisions and keeping our emotions in balance. Whether you're about to get angry with someone because of a misunderstanding or make a quick decision out of fear, try this. Pause, take a breath, think about it, and then respond. This technique can change the way you approach life, like finding an oasis in a desert or a peaceful spot in the middle of a busy marketplace. So, in a world that's always pulling you in different directions, challenge yourself to use the magic of this brief pause. Remember, real strength comes from thinking before you act, not from reacting quickly. Embracing this stoic exercise can be like finding a calm moment in the midst of life's chaos. To represent events objectively means to see them without adding our own feelings and judgments. Think of it like having a blank canvas and a set of colors. You can paint the canvas any way you want, Similarly, events in our lives are like blank canvases, and we choose how to paint them with our emotions and thoughts. But what if we could just see things as they are, without our personal feelings getting in the way? There's a Stoic philosopher named Epictetus who said, it is not things that disturb us, but our interpretation of their significance. This means that we have the power to control how we interpret events. For example, if a friend doesn't reply to our message right away, instead of getting anxious or worried, we can choose to see it as just a message left unanswered for now, nothing more. Practicing objective representation can help us reduce unnecessary stress and emotional turmoil. It's like watching a movie without getting caught up in all the drama. In today's world, where we encounter so much information and experiences, imagine how peaceful it would be to just see things as they are, without adding our own dramatic story to them. The next time something bothers you or seems confusing, Try to pause and look at it without your emotions or judgments. This stoic exercise can lead to a clearer, more balanced and peaceful life. In life, there are two types of situations, those we can control and those we can't. Controllable events are like things we can plan for, while uncontrollable events are unexpected and often frustrating, like traffic jams, delayed flights or rainy days when we had a picnic in mind. It's natural to get upset when things don't go as we want, and it might seem like life is rigged against us. But the truth is, we can't control everything. Trying to control things beyond our reach is like trying to catch the wind in a net. It's impossible and just makes us tired and empty-handed. Instead, think about how liberating it is to separate what we can control from what we can't. As the philosopher Epictetus wisely said, don't expect things to always go your way, but instead, wish for things to happen as they do. 
This doesn't mean you shouldn't have goals or care about outcomes. It means you should focus on things you can control, like your efforts, attitude, and how you bounce back from setbacks. For example, you can't control if your internet connection drops during an online presentation, but you can control how you handle the situation. You can't control if the barista gets your coffee order wrong, but you can control your response to it. Understanding this difference between control and no control can make life's challenges less about getting upset and more about adapting and learning from them. Whether it's dealing with everyday problems or unexpected twists, keeping this stoic lesson in mind can help you stay steady in the face of life's unpredictable ups and downs. If you found this helpful, please give us a thumbs up to help us reach more people seeking ancient wisdom. If you're new here, Subscribe and click the notification bell for more lessons on ancient wisdom. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video. To watch more videos on Stoic Wisdom, choose one of the videos that will appear on your screen now.